um, all over the country, we are indeed putting distance between ourselves. Social distancing has arrived, and it has arrived with astonishing speed. We are doing what Dr. Anthony Fauci told us to do. We are being responsible. The extent of this separating out is remarkable. In just 24 hours, sport shut down. Entertainment centers, you know, movie theaters, emptied out. Mm. Many restaurants, same story, emptying out. New York, as we drove in this morning, it has the look and the feel of a ghost town. Dr. Fauci told us to avoid crowds, and we are doing it. We don't know how long this lasts. At this point, after looking at the experience of China, South Korea, and Italy, we will probably be separating out for weeks. And there is always the possibility that some areas will be pushed into a more rigorous shutdown. Seattle is already there. We need to clear messaging from medical experts. How about a daily briefing? Dr. Fauci, the CDC people, and all the others who are in charge of our medical response. Tell us the truth about testing, treatment, vaccines, medical supplies. That's how we beat this thing. On Fox this morning, Dr. Fauci encourages to do more rather than less, as he put it. Vice President Pence, well, he heads up the virus task force. He's the calm voice. He's very much needed. We want to know how we're doing. Where's the progress? Where are the setbacks? I want to see real people, not a social media free-for-all. And I really don't want to see the hate Trump media venting their anger for political purposes. The full impact of the virus is now upon us. It's ominous. When you see empty streets, you know something big is happening, and you naturally get anxious about how long it lasts. That's why we need the honest truth, and we want to be told clearly what's happening and why. That means the Vice President and Dr. Fauci should be on our screens every single day.